Something like that. Something like that works, I think. Let's see if we uh, remember how to do this. What's up, everybody? Shane here from Fugadec 3D Printing, and guess what? I'm back with a new project, and it's involving my old trusty Hypercube. Welcome back everybody. So yes, this is my old Hypercube. I built this starting, I believe in 2017, finished it in 2018 after I had moved. My lights are flickering, but yeah, so it took a minute. It's a very, very DIY build. Uh, um, there's like, there's kits nowadays. There weren't kits, you know, what was that? Five years ago when I started this, there really wasn't much. I think Ziltec might've had something. Uh, but there wasn't too much. So when Tech2C came out with this, it was a very cool build. I loved it. I thought it was a really awesome build. So I built it and kind of wanted to critique it with how it was, um, but it works really well. Um, it's got all linear um, bearings and smooth rods and I'm using carbon fiber tubes for the X to make things real lightweight. Uh, so it was cool, but it's been uh, quite a long time. I haven't used this forever. It sits here on the on the, the the shelf because I've got other printers. I've got the FT5 that's now going like crazy. Uh, I've got the BLV MGNQ, which is a huge uh, Core XY machine. But this was my first Core XY, and there's a lot of people tell you the the first time you build something, it's really hard to tear it apart. I'm struggling with this one, but I need to for science for me. As a project, I need to get out of my slump right now of, of not working on anything. And sadly, this dude's gonna go. So this episode is really gonna be kind of introduction, what I'm doing and getting ready to do. I'm gonna start ordering parts and printing. FT5 is printing ABS right now to get ready for it. But we're gonna turn this into a Volron. We're gonna do specifically a Volron Legacy. So kind of it's a newer take on some of the older versions of Volron. Um, the 1.8, 2.4s uh, are expensive. The V0 is too small. It's not really like, worth building and the kits are like really expensive. And I have like literally 90% of the things that I need for this build. So we're gonna go ahead and build this. So what are we reusing? Is that what we're gonna start with? Yeah, what are we reusing? I'm reusing everything, the motors. Um, I think I'm gonna do a little bit of a taller Z in it to kind of match this, or maybe I won't, I don't know. I have one uh, 300 millimeter integrated lead screw motor. I have, this is a 400 millimeter, so I'm either gonna buy another 300 or cut this one down. I don't know yet, but I'll be able to reuse all of the, the rods. I have another pack of rods here that I can cut down. That's loud, sorry. Uh, I can cut those down to whatever size I need those to be. So the big reasons why I want to rebuild this or do something else with it is because I built it wrong. <laughs> it's You're looking at it at the front, so Y, X, and Z. It should have been built this way with Y, X, and Z uh, because I'm a nincompoop when I build it and I don't actually even get to use the whole bed. My bed is like, it's 220 by 220. It's the Anycube Ultra Base. Fantastic for PLA, uh, even flexible too, works great, um, but it's a crazy long Bowden. So PLA is what this thing pretty much does. Moves pretty quick, works well for pretty much everything I need it to, uh, but the bed is just so small. I think I'm only getting like 160 by 190 or 200, or I think I'm getting the whole 220 on the X, but on Y I'm getting, you know, two thirds of the bed, you know, or three quarters of the bed, I guess. It's just, yeah, I built it wrong. And I'm just not happy with that. And that just kind of is a reminder every time I look at this that yeah, I built that wrong. But this was like the best build series I'd ever done. So I think I'm gonna kind of pay homage to that. And I don't think this is gonna be quite step-by-step -step on how to build a Volron Legacy, but I'm gonna do my best. It's gonna take, I don't know how long, the next year or so. I hope not that long. We'll kind of just need to 
just go with it. But yeah, I'm reusing the bed. So I've already modified the Volron Legacy file because it's meant for a little bit of a larger bed. It was actually, it's meant for just an aluminum bed that you drill your own holes into. I wanna reuse this. So I've already modified the bed braces for that. I haven't found what else I need to modify in there yet as I'm going through the files right now. I'm printing some things. Uh, I haven't printed ABS in forever, but so far I've got the Z motor mounts and that's it. <laughs> so I'm also really low on ABS. I only have one roll and I've already messed up a couple times. So I've lost some filament. So I'm ordering Ziltec here uh, tonight as I'm recording this and I'm gonna get some more ABS here in the next few weeks and I'll be able to print more. So it'll probably be after Christmas whenever I really start digging into the new build. I'm gonna tear this down uh, or maybe I'll do a video on like tear down and rebuilding but I don't have like the cubes that the Vizier, that the Varn Legacy uses in the corners. And this Ziltec extrusion is M6 tap, or its holes are big enough for M6 bolts. So I have some M6 bolts coming to see if I can do blind joints with them. If I cannot, then I'm gonna order those cubes. I might order those cubes anyways, just to get them. But I'm gonna be able to reuse all of my extrusion, uh, I think I need to cut down certain pieces of it because actually it's a shorter build than this was uh, because the electronics go in the back here and your Z's are gonna be on the side where my electronics are underneath. So, and it's a very old board. I have a new board for it. Uh, I'm gonna see about trying to find a Raspberry Pi 3. Uh, obviously it's gonna run Clipper because that's what everything of mine runs. Uh, if you guys think of a cool name for the build, put it down below, a transformer name. Uh, you, most of mine are G1 transformers. If you've got something, please let me know. Uh, the newest one we have here is Metroplex. That is the FT5. So that's what I call them all and whatnot. So yeah, uh, again, this was just kind of me talking about what I want to do with this printer. The project is upcoming. So I do hope you guys tune in for that. But yeah, we're gonna convert this Hypercube into a Volron Legacy reusing pretty much all the parts that I can. And I'll need to buy just a few extra, I think. I think it'll be fun. I hope you all will join in for that, uh, for that build. And again, I will try to do it a little bit more build style as the old Hypercube videos were to maybe help you build a Volron Legacy. So I thank you all for tuning in. It's been fantastic. I was looking at the screen and not the actual camera lens there. I haven't done this in a while. I thank you guys for joining in. If you guys wanna support the channel, go down below, check out those links. Uh, all the money that I earned from there, I put back into the channel. It's how I'm buying the parts for this. I'm using some of the Patreon funds that I've been saving up to buy this uh, and some of the other funds I've gotten through the affiliate link usage. I use all of those to buy parts, replacement. I'd replace a bunch of stuff on the Prusa. So like $200 just went into that. So yeah, I do use them for upgrades, but I also use them for replacement parts and I use them for new builds. So I thank you all who have been using those this entire time that I've been kind of just live streaming every now and then. Thank you all for doing that. You're amazing. For all the new people coming around, hello and welcome. I thank you all for joining in and have a good day and happy printing.